Painted Leaves collection is being released in this September release and it delivers to stores in June. And it's, it's really kind of a fall type collection. Think of Mother Nature taking a paintbrush and painting leaves and painting floral, uh, branches, sky background, that kind of thing. And then the comforts of maybe an uh, interesting plaid, um, th those cozy kind of colors and um, the palette. All right, so in Painted Leaves, um, there's a couple things I wanted to point out. First of all, this is kind of a modern uh, palette or a contemporary look, the Golden Slate. We've got the gold and we've got it up against um, a blue and a gray. Now this particular one right here has a flat ground on it and more of a multi in the uh, motif area. And that kind of um, evokes the contemporary boutiques that are out there. Then that's right up against a gorgeous uh, traditional uh, light batik, almost like a sky. There's no one color of sky, obviously. So this is a grayed off, you know, almost heading towards winter type sky. Um, the branches are set on a multi in the background. And then we just went, went with a multi with the cream color. You don't see this a lot in batiks. So I, I felt it showcased the colors in the collection. Um, we've got a gray multi in the, the background with the gold, and then just really a punch of almost a bluish black with the brown. Now this right here is a stripe, or a, like almost like a plaid, with the motif over it. So what they've done, first is they've laid down the color of their motif and, and scrunched it up, used the sm uh, smoking technique, and then rinsed that off, bleached off the color, and then added that particular color. So this um, overlay of color is actually done first. It's um, an interesting process, and I think it showcases beautifully in this collection. Okay. Also, this is a plaid. It's a, it's a stripe, but got it has the plaid elements on it. So it's, think of it like a buffalo type plaid, big, bold kind of look. Works wonderfully in borders, big rock quilts. Again, that technique I was talking about with the overlay of um, kind of a lace kind of feel. Like, think of leaves when they start, start fossilizing or decomposing. That's the kind of effect that this particular print uh, design has. Um, and then in here, we've got the multi again, and I darkened it kind of like a, like a smoked type feel with it. Or like if you painted fabric with tea, that kind of effect. So you've got two, uh, a tonal kind of thing going on here. And if you look at these together, it's fantastic to work with them almost like a, a sunshine shadow type effect. Um, I like that because it's different. It's, it's showcasing how much color theory these particular um, color masters in Indonesia possess. It's amazing. Okay. And then the third coloration or third colorway here evokes fall harvest type thing with the pumpkins, with a brown type of effect. You'd use these in uh, pumpkin applique or, you know, those type of quilts. Now, Amber has a couple things pieced here. We're um, working on a couple of uh, projects to go with each collection. And she's got a couple things pieced. And I want to show, show you this because you see all of the print going on there. And we interspersed some of the essentials, like with the Catan but you can see it's a tonal effect. It's kind of a warm brownish tonal effect, um, and this is more cool with the gray. And then there are the elements that are darker uh, within this collection. And then here as well, you can see it's more of a mid-tone multi-effect. But these are, she's used all of the prints or all of the designs in this collection. Now in the lookbook um, for Painted Leaves, you can see right here, We've chosen to reach out to some well-known pattern designers and feature their particular patterns. And Terry Atkinson um, from Atkinson Designs was nice enough to let us color up some of her table runners, the Desert Star right here. You can see it's a wonderful collection to almost give the scrap type of effect with. Just grab the, the piece out of the bag and use it. And, um, and back to this, this is a challenge for Amber. She likes everything planned out. So um, this also evokes that Himalayan pink quilt right here that's featured is by Madison Cottage Designs and uh, kind of is a new uh, designer for us, a new uh, boutique designer and her collection will be coming out uh, next spring. 
she does a lot with uh, a lot of prints, maybe 16 to 24 prints and puts them all together and, and puts them in a, a contemporary feel of a quilt. Okay. And then I went very traditional when selecting this particular pattern. Um, those traditional, very dark looking patterns. Um, I love, I love this hometown harvest and it has such a contemporary feel uh, with this particular palette from Painted Leaves. This is the one that, um, Into the Woods, it's an art quilt, kind of um, a landscape type quilt. And this is what Amber is working on in, in that project right there. I featured two different versions of Scott's Painted Forest. Scott Hansen, as you know, has designed two collections for us. And I just love his, his contemporary urban folk type feel. So I wanted to showcase that. And there's a couple of other projects here. This wreath, beautiful for a fall table, okay? So those are the projects that we thought would best suit painted leaves. And this collection is delivering in June.